Hey guys, welcome to the vault. Um, we are back with some more exclusive content. Um, this is episode one of uh, Shoes from the Vault Hooked. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Uh, Pierre, take it away. Yeah, listen, you know how much we all love uh, hats, and now like to kind of pull some sneakers into the mix is fun. Um, mm -hmm. One of the, one of my favorite things to do is to find hats that that um, that match up nicely to sneakers, but didn't intend to. So it's interesting as you start to get bigger hat collections, it gets easier and easier, you would think, to hook these hats uh, to sneakers. But it actually gets a little bit more complex because there's a lot of different choices. You know, I've always pride myself on being able to match my sneakers to my hats, but sometimes it's it's the unintentional ones that look the best. So I'm interested to see what everybody does here uh, to match up these um, these sneakers um, to, uh, to hats in our hat collection. So um, Jason... Um, I know you kind of uh, you kind of went went you know went the distance with Mexi Fitteds here to figure out how are we going to do this. So would you like to take us through it? Or yeah, yeah. So I reached I reached out to Mexi Fitteds for because uh, I know he's big into the shoes and and and, and follows uh, you know the sneaker game and what's dropping and what's not whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so I asked him you know go out and, and pick you know a few a few shoes that dropped in the last few weeks and uh, let's challenge ourselves to dig through our vault because people are always asking us to dig through, through our collections and, and, and show what's in our collections. Um, and let's see if we can find uh, hats to match shoes that came out in the last few weeks. So mm. yeah, now, I want to thank, thank Mexa fitted for, uh, for doing this for us. And, and hopefully this is something we can continue to do for uh, a while. Yeah. No, it sounds good. Um, oh yeah. You guys ready to get started here? You let's bet. See. So let's do it. So, so the first one he found for us. Uh, go ahead. So yeah. this is the uh, – every year Nike does a, uh, a silhouette, right, that is in time with the Dominican Day Parade as well as the Puerto Rican Day Parade to celebrate independence. Uh, this was definitely one of the hardest sneakers I've had to try to match. Uh, I remember I told Jason, you know, some of these are T-balls. Some of them – I and uh, – I did this by accident. This was actually the hardest sneaker I, I tried to match. But, uh, yeah, Air Force One, um, even though these were considered, like, a general release, they're still pretty hard to find. And they're uh, nicknamed the Puerto Rico um, Puerto Rico piece. I have seen a couple of them nicknamed the Domino's piece. But, uh, you know, that's the, that's the hook on this one. Nice. All right. Oh. So, so, fellas, I guess, Leon, you're up first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay. This one was actually really hard to do, so yep. I narrowed it down to two. I'll only show one. Um, I'm going to go with an exclusive fitted release with rare fitted. Uh, he did a Diamondbacks hat. Um, I took the navy of the sole as well as the, the blue um, from the jewel swoosh, swoosh. I know there's no real pink in the shoe, but uh, this is kind of the closest I could get to it. Um, I know there's not a lot of white in the hat, but... Um, I like to kind of match my stuff a little bit differently. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Cool. Nice choice, Leon. All right. Pierre, you want to go next? Uh, yeah, I think going forward, do me last, if that's okay. Oh, oh sure, sure. But I'll, I'll, I went with this. This is the Casamigos uh, tequila hook uh, from 4U Caps. Uh, okay. Listen, for me, when I'm looking at a shoe, right, I'm just looking for one or one or more elements that can kind of be tied in here, and I thought the blue – um, was really close in this uh, in this hook, so I went there. Um, I think that gray bottom gives a nice classic feel. It's got a white crown, with shoes white, so it just fit for me. Um, so that's the one I went with. Very good. All right. So for me, like I said, this was the hardest one. As soon as I saw the two tones on that sneaker itself, I went with an automatic two tone, and um, mm. it. It does not match perfectly. The colors are insanely difficult to match. I went with a good gray just because I felt like it was a simple enough silhouette. Um, you know, I'll do a cheat code. There is some white stitching around the actual patch. I'll make it work, right? Uh, but overall, I just figured when I was looking at the sneaker, I was like, what is something that would make uh, it compliment? Because I couldn't match it perfectly. So I was just going for a compliment. And I figured, uh, you know, a good two-tone Diamondbacks with the uh, inaugural patch. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. And me, I like, like all you, I had a hard time finding, I didn't have a crown that color mint. 
So I use that as the secondary color. And I chose uh, a, a recent release, um, but the Oceanside Peach Cubs um, from Lids. And uh, because, you know, the mint was pretty close. Navy pulls in the, the sole of the shoe. Hmm. Not a lot of white on this hat, but that's all right. Two out of three colors ain't bad. So <laughs> that was my my selection. You went with the same nice. strategy. I like it. I went the same strategy <laughs> as Leon. Yep. All right. Hat number two, or shoe number two. All right. Amy Leon Dior. Yep. And we went with the New Balance because I know that Pierre is a big New Balance fanatic. Also, oh, as, a, as a teacher, uh, New Balances are some of the most comfortable sneakers to just be able to teach in. Um, so, yeah. It, and this one was kind of a tea, a, a, you know, a tea ball. Because there's so many beef and broccoli colorways that have come out, so I'm kind of curious yeah. to see what everybody picked. All right. Yeah, this one is uh, this one was probably the easiest one for me. All right. Well, since I I started <laughs> into the last one, I'll start this one. Uh, I went a little different. I didn't go quite beef and broccoli. I went I went tan and Ooh. green. Uh, this one comes to us from uh, Toppers. Um, you know, a little stomper action. I thought it pulled in the uh, the two colors of the shoe very nicely. Got a lot of mm-hmm. white in there too to match the uh, sole and the, the netting. So that's my choice for the Ame Leon Dior New Balance 991. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right. Uh, Amy Leon Dior New Balance. So I went with a Sports World hat. Um, this one's Rust. Um, Maybe not the same brown, tan brown, but I, I had to get something that pulled in that green. Now, mind you, this green is a little bit lighter than, than in the shoe, but um, I went with this one. Mm. Sports World. I had to go with the good old toppers. Uh, actually, more recent release, right? You got your beef and broccoli um, hmm. uh, pirates, right? Um it pretty much just matched the shoe, uh, so I figured why not. And uh, I I have to say, considering beef and broccoli is big in Timberlands, um, it's nice to see it on a different silhouette. Very nice. Cool. You know, my, in my opinion, uh, Jason was a little bit closer because it's not really beef. This no. color, it's 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 more of a it is more of like a dark dark like tan. Right. So um, I ended up going with the counterpart to what Jason just showed, which is uh, <laughs> this old yeah. A's cap. Um, I don't know. I thought it would be – I like the simplicity of the A's logo versus the Stomper, considering that New Balance does have that simple sort of silhouette with the N on it. Um, and, you know, this is just a, a really solid cap to me. Um, I, I, I like this, and I think it goes really well with those New Balances. Mm-hmm. Again, um, there's a lot of options out there for this, but this is the one that I chose. Oh man, us old heads think alike. I can I can consider that one as well. I'm not gonna front. Yeah. I just think the color of the shoe is not necessarily like it's not like a dark brown. No, nah, it's definitely more tan. Than yeah. brown. It's more tannish. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. That's a good one too. Yeah, Jose. Uh Air Jordan 2, 2 Union, Air Jordan 2 Silhouette, one of my favorite of all time. I had the originals, uh the high top, the Chicago colorway. And with this one, Union, they made a great partnership, always sells out. <laughs> and, I, and I figured, why not? You know, Air Jordan 2 has been, been up in the, in the game recently, and uh, it's getting a little bit harder to buy. Okay. Yeah, I, I, love, you, I love this. I love this sneaker. That's good. Yep. Good one. Good one. Uh, so what, what, what do you got for us? Uh, two-tone. Uh, okay. You know, I like the the gray that's in uh, obviously on the undervisor for this one, but also the gray within the actual sneaker. And you know, the blue would just complement it pretty nicely. A little bit of a hint of a gold patch. Um, I just thought it was a clean clean match overall. So I didn't go too crazy on it, but crazy enough. Hmm. Okay, Leon, what do you got? All right, so this one I went with a Canadian vendor, um, Team Collective. They did a Back to the Future hat, so I tried to incorporate the gray, the gray and the white. Um, mm. If you look real closely, um, there is a little bit of yellow in there, so he's got a little bit of yellow on the hat. Um, the the blue is not the exact same blue. It looks like they use like a cerulean blue, but you know this one's a sky blue under. So I tried to get it as close as possible, but okay. I went with the Back to the Future. 
my hat from Team Collective. All right. All right. For me, I don't like to match up the shoe and the hat too closely. So when I look at that shoe, I see the the yellow on the the little tag uh, mm-hmm. on the laces. And so for me, I went with Hat Club's uh, version of the uh, Boston Red Sox. <laughs> okay. City Connect. Um, the yellow is almost a perfect match. The blues are really, really close. Gray bottom to pull in the gray from the shoe. Um, you know, make the hat the accent, the shoe, the accessory. All right. My th- thought on that one. Now, excuse the curved brim on this one, but I went with Weird. this. So to me, I don't know. It's got the gray. It's got the blue. It's got the white. It's got it all in there. Um, I thought this is just a great cap to match up to it. Um, there's a, a lot of options out there for this. Actually, there's a lot of different, yeah. um, different, uh, different hats with uh, grays and stones and blues. But I felt this one really did fit because when you look at the um, the eyelets, they have those that blue on that eyelet, and it's very <laughs> similar to the blue you see here on the undervisor and in the mountain. So. That's the one I went with uh, for the Union uh, Two Fogs. That's that's a good match. Good hook. <coughs> All right. Nope. Oh, sorry. Drive in here. Actually, you're up again. Air Jordan 3 Neapolitan. They're considered, right, they're considered the Mocha 2.0s. Um, Mocha is one of my favorite silhouettes. So this is pretty much on par with the Mochas, except for that midsole. So you, you have a little bit of a yellowish midsole with a pink hint on it originally mm. this was a woman's release so if you bought it you, it came in a woman's sizing so you go uh one and a half size up for men um but yeah okay yeah, so this one i kind of uh i kind of did myself a little uh a little boo-boo all right <laughs> i have the one that matches it except it's in maryland um <laughs> So I'm going to go with the regular one. Uh, this is actually a gray uh, gray UV, a two-tone cream with a brown. And this is from oh, yeah. 1515 Diallo. And the one that I had that matched it, it was from Toppers, which is the exact same style with the pink undervisor, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but the good thing about this sneaker itself is that the pink is light enough in the back of the heel that it's not super noticeable. So when people really look at the shoe, they're looking at that brown elephant print. So I went with the uh, with the Rocky Mountains, Colorado Rockies. Okay. Nice choice. All right. So when I think of brown and pink, um, I think of two stores, uh, Mag Park and Hat Club. Hat Club Spumoni Scoops has too much um, of like that teal um, <clears throat> and, and uh, in it. So I went with the Mag Park uh, pink mocha. Okay. So um yeah i uh i admittedly fucked up on this one uh-oh uh-oh uh i didn't realize that was brown uh it's to me it looked uh more dark gray like the dark okay. gray elephant print um and so that's what i'm going with so it might not be the neapolitan but um i'm going with this uh yankees dark charcoal uh, 1952 World Series from, I believe it's from Evelyn's. Huh. I'm not mistaken. Um, wish I would have known it was brown. <laughs> <laughs> Got the pink right. <laughs> Got the pink right. Yep. Hmm. All right. All right. So if you notice on the uh, sole, it's got that uh, that cream, that creamish color sole, but then that hint of very, very pale pink. Mm-hmm. Um, I did know it was brown, so I went with this. Ooh. I went with this uh, Friar playing ball cap from my fitteds that has that. It has oh, like yeah. a. It's like a. It's like a real pale undervisor, yeah. but I just felt like it just matched nicely. Um, I enjoy. Uh, uh, I enjoy Jordan. Uh, Jordan threes as much as anybody, and yeah. uh, this cap to me is a nice little fit. <clears throat> Damn, that's Come a on. great one. Also, hesitation is somewhere smiling for that one. <laughs> yeah, well, I uh, I definitely lost that round. Right. <laughs> uh, Nike Air Max One Blueprint Air Max One is one of the the more uh, infamous silhouettes. Uh, 
And this was, uh, I believe this was dropped for Air Max Day. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Pierre, if I'm not mistaken, don't you own this one? I own I own uh, the the Fog Twos. I own the uh, these. I own those uh, those Dunk Toasties that we're gonna do. Um, I own the Super <laughs> Politics ones. So basically, when I looked at the sneakers, first I looked at your Instagram page, and then I looked <laughs> at uh, sneaker calendar to see what was coming up. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, this is this is a beautiful model. Some of my uh, students showed me it in hand, and I was like, "Wow, this thing is actually really really nice." Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful beautiful cap. So for that one, uh, I went with. It took me a while to get this. I originally slept on the first release. Go toppers with uh, with our Orioles, right? Um, yeah. This actually just restocked not too long ago, but I just felt like it was a good compliment again. Um, Icy Blue just went with the overall um, design of the sneaker. Nothing more needs to be said besides that. Uh, and it, it does have a navy blue um, top visor. Anytime I can incorporate navy blue into, into a hat I wear, I'll take it. Nice. Nice choice, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would have went with the exact same hat. But my mine is sitting at Pierre's house, so I had to pivot a little <laughs> bit. Um, I went with a um, a good friend um, of the show, Frank E. Uh, of One Thirteen Fame. Um, before he launched his pin company, he was actually making hats. So uh, the Square Group Grouper One Point Oh um, got a little bit of money access to it. Um, off white crown with the sky blue. Uh, it is a green under, um, but I don't count that. Um, but Square grouper uh, going for the Air Max. Okay. Nice. When I see this shoe, I see the sky blue. So that's why I'm going with the sky blue hat. Uh, going with the, the 1995 World Series from mm -hmm. Toppers. Pulls in that Royal that's in the, the swoosh in the, the, the shoe swoosh in the toe, toe box as well. Gray under. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going with match up that bad boy the one thing about the air max one sil silhouette is it's classic so yep i went with uh something that's equally classic from a hat perspective so i went with this uh texas rangers cap um it's got that powder blue that that baby blue that's really relevant throughout the shoe it's got some darker hints of blue but also i thought go with a green under because like I said, uh, there's nothing more classic than a green under visor. And there's nothing more classic from an air max perspective than the air max one. So I went that route. I did call an audible on this one because you did choose a hat that I would have chosen, but I had, I had one waiting just in case. <laughs> so uh, this is the one I went with. Well, it's a good thing that you went after cause I didn't have a backup. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told everyone I should go last. That's a perfect hook though. It's fair. It's good. All right. Next one. So this Air Max, it's come out multiple times. Um, honestly, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, Violet. And then I really looked at it. I was like, nah, that's not Violet. Um, Air Max BW, classic silhouette. Again, another Air Max flow because when we picked out the shoes, we went all around in terms of the uh, budget. Anywhere that's super accessible, like you might still find these sitting at some foot lockers. And then you have your higher ups, but this one, this one, I have an interesting hook or matchup for, and uh, uh, I'll start off. So when I see that shoe, for some reason, my head goes into the original attire that the undertaker wore, <laughs> right. Um, with okay. the, with the little bit of, with the purple gloves and sure, then, huh? and then the, um, the black attire, even though there's yeah. just a little bit of a hint of black in, in that sneaker. So I actually have a custom here. It's uh, it's obviously on a New York Yankees on field, right? Gray, gray under visor. But Mellow2Js uh, on Instagram did a patch for it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it just so happens that when I when I thought of that, that, that purple on the sneaker, it happened to be part of the patch. Um, so... That's that's the one I went with. It's kind of you know again. It made sense in my head, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna run with that one. No, nice man, <laughs> nice choice right. outside the box. I like it. All right, so this one was a uh, like Jose brought up a little bit earlier. It, it's a it's a confusing color to me. Um, it looks more royal blue. Um, it's listed as uh, 
Persian violet. But I, I, I went with blue because to me the picture looks blue. Hopefully I'm not colorblind. But um, I really dug deep and found an old Chicago Bulls hat. Um, you know it's old because oh. it says thirty five dollars on it. Um, wow. <laughs> from when 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 hats used to be cheap. It, it's it's got a three M um, reflective UV. But yeah, this is what I went uh, for the Air Max BW. I, yeah, I, so that I uh, that Persian violet is more like a blue, right? I mean, it, it definitely is. Yeah, so. yeah, and that's what I saw too. Um, so that's why I went with um, Bluebird Ooh. Ooh. from our our friend Adam at uh, over your head. Mm. Okay, uh, it's got the black in the um, in the design there to pull in the black from the sneaker, white front panel, get all the white. In there as well, yeah. So yeah, that's that was my choice. Nice. So you know, I saw I I saw this hat with some you know some white. I I, I saw this. I'm sorry, the shoe with some white, some royal blue, some black. So I went raised royal. Mm. I think um you know this one hooks nicely to it. It's got the blues in there. It's got this this really nice feel to the hat. Classic feel again. Um, Air Max, Air Max nineties, right. Are like pretty, uh, pretty, um, pretty classic. And this hat I think fits the bill here. Nice looking hat. It's good. I love those top visors. Yep. That's where I went. Nice. All right. Now Maxi really tried to mess this up with this. Oh my God. Let me tell you first off. I have a sneaker for this, right? Well, next nature, Nike Dunk. As as many of us know, the Nike Dunk has been coming in hot in the market, and Nike is not stopping either. They're doing constant restocks. This one, though, I didn't really think about. Um, and the reason I didn't think about it is because I'm going to show the hat, and then I'm ac I'm actually going to show the sneaker because on the other inside panel of the sneaker, there's a completely different color. Oh, okay. Okay, and so maybe that's my little cheat code. I don't know. So this is the the picture we saw, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. On the inside. Oh, oh see, that's cheating. See, yeah, that's I cheating. I didn't know. <laughs> From my perspective, as a teacher, it is not my fault that you all did not do your homework. <laughs> right. uh, I didn't. I didn't need. I don't. I don't. I don't. I didn't need your help. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be just oh. fine. I'm going to go with an Easter pack from a pro image, right? Okay. So, uh, where is it? Yeah. Bit. Damn it. Okay. So that blue is the, is kind of like the cheat code that I use for that. Um, also the materials on it is weird as you, it, there's a little bit of hemp on the sneaker, right? So I figured pick a hat that is made with materials, not, not really on an everyday scale. As you all know, these colors are mostly a cotton based, uh, crown. So, yeah, I just thought it was an extremely hard sneaker to match. Let's play around with the colors a little bit. That's my choice. Okay. Nice. All right. So, um, I tried to keep it simple. Um, I went with uh, Pink Martini. Um, recently restocked with Hat Club. Um, this is the original um, Diamondbacks. Okay. Um, I tried to find that olive green. I didn't have nothing that had uh, olive green and lime green in it. Um, so I went with the pink martini. Not a bad choice. Yep. All right. So these these are some funky colors mixed together. When I think of funky colors mixed together, I think of Sneaker Town. Mm. So I went with this uh, Diamondbacks. Okay. With the, the peach over, copper throughout, rust under. Um, I really looked at the the dark green on the back of the shoe, and the uh, and the the swoosh pulled that in with the, the visor there. So that's my choice. Mm. I think sometimes people try to over overcomplicate things. So you don't need to like you know you look at a shoe right and like you know you show the inside of the shoe. I don't care, man. I'm gonna pull. You don't have to pull everything into a hat. Okay, I want to no. be clear about that. So you don't have to do that. You have to just make something that works. Now. This shoe specifically, I would add red shoelaces to this. I'm 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 just putting okay. that out there in order okay. to do this. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out the trump card here because this has a lot of the colors in the hat 
uh, mm -hmm. that are in the shoe. So you go with, um, I wanted to pull from that, that pea green um, yep. that's kind of in there. And this is the way I went. I throw some red laces on that shoe and that's it, man. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. I'm not going to try to get every one of those colors into my hat. Oh, this no, would no. work. And trump card, I worked on this hat. This is a hat I did with John Jay from my fitted. So um, <laughs> this works. It, it's a great match. I'm just saying, changing the shoelaces definitely overcomplicates it. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. It really, it really doesn't. I mean, if you're gonna, for me, like you, uh, lace swaps uh, kind of separate the men from the boys, in my opinion. <laughs> So, like, for example, today I wore the, I wore the uh, Concepts uh, heavies, and I changed the laces from the brown to the white just because I wanted some contrast in the laces. And, you know, I think it really does make a difference if you if you add uh, a little lace swap in here and there to make it work. Fair. Um, that's my nice. opinion. But I've only been doing this for uh, – I've only been doing this for 40-plus years. <laughs> it, makes, it makes the shoe yours. Got no problem with the lace swap. Nike Dunk – Toasty. So I have a love-hate relationship with this shoe. I actually had it uh, reserved for me in the Foot Locker app. I just didn't hit confirm in time. Ooh, oh, man. I know. I'm a sucker for gum bottoms and this sneaker itself, beautiful silhouette. Uh, and again, Nike Dunk. It's still going strong. Nike Dunk Low specifically, perfect mm -hmm. for the summertime. So I went with Eblins. And uh, of course, the patch that we all love, 1990. Well, many of us love. Yeah. Two toe cubs. Um, I Good felt one. I felt like that orange just matched that swoosh, and the four screen was a pretty, pretty good color combo with that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't match anything with the gum bottom, but a gum bottom does not need anything to stand out. Nope. Nice choice, man. All right. Um, so originally, I was gonna go with like a regular Miami Hurricanes hat. Uh, I thought that was too easy. So um, I went with OVO Family, um, the green and orange edition. I felt like that green and orange just kind of hits together. Um, white with, from the midsole uh, and the lettering, nice classic gray bottom. That's a good choice. Yep. So nice. OVO Family. Cool. Mm. I went to, uh, when I look at the shoe, I see dark green and orange. And so I want to keep it pretty simple. Went with this Brewery Creek Mashers from our friend uh, up in uh, Vancouver, Evan, and, and Nice One Studios. Nice, simple, clean. It's a nice, simple uh, silhouette on that shoe. Um, so that's that's what I'm going with there. All right. Well, I'm going here. Ooh, that's a good hat. You're bringing out the big D for this one, huh? <laughs> I don't really, I, listen, man, I don't really need to explain this one. I think this one speaks for itself. That's where mm -hmm. I went. Great hat. Hooks <clears throat> nicely. Boom. Done. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Oh, okay. So, Asics, always ready. Uh, collab with uh, Sneaker Politics. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, when I first saw this hat, I was like, there's nothing I have that will actually make it. A perfect match because at the on the front of it you have like a yeah the, you know design is the tear within the sneaker uh the stars from the uh, u.s flag located onto it but then something came in the mail so this is what i got um this might look a little familiar Ooh. oh okay okay and yeah. the, re the reason i went with this is for two reasons right first off i almost did the same thing yeah <laughs> well this uh, has a perfect match. <laughs> for that is, when I think of just the overall sneaker politics, right? When you think of politics, you auto I automatically think of money. And this is from a you know from a from a company called uh, Good Hats. I don't know if you all heard of them or not, but let me tell you, this is a beautiful piece. Uh, it came with some nice uh, stickers, a couple of pins there, which I'm not gonna front. This Monopoly pin, hate it. Reason being, I suck at Monopoly. <laughs> oh, man. Horrible. But my dad taught properties. me how to play. My dad taught me how to play. Just buy everything, and then you end <laughs> yep. up winning. Yeah, yes. well, I I, ha I dated somebody, and uh, they just killed the game for me. I can never oh. play the game again. Um, wow. So but, yeah. Terrible. Oh, my. You are telling me, right? That's a whole other show. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Um, so, like I said, Money Man, it just so happens that this is the last hat from Good Hats that they've dropped. Not the last mm -hmm. hat in general. And um, it came in perfect timing. I mean, that green, go the green goes with it. Mm -hmm. uh, the brown, 
the the brownish uh, top visor yeah. with the bottom sole, and just like I said, beautiful hat. It's yeah. a good match, man. I I like match, man. All right, so I was gonna go with the Eric Emanuel uh, Oakland A's hat, um, but then I saw that little rip that you talked about, so that little uh, blue and white um, rip. So I went with the hat I made. So um, this is the Australian Bushfires. Uh, bushfire relief hat we be, we did a couple years ago. Um, it incorporates the green and the yellow. Um, but if you look um, closely, it's not the American stars, I know, but um, the blue and the white stars uh, from the Australian yeah. uh, flag actually uh, matches pretty well um, with that little uh, to uh, toe box rip. So, um, yeah, the capologist, something that Tony and I did. Um, a collaboration with uh, some Australians, uh, Lee Rocky and uh, Latoya. So, um, I went with that one. Nice. Nice. That's good catch. Uh, me, I'm just going uh, green and black. Going with this uh, Texas Rangers uh, NHL crossover from Sports World. Like how it pulls in the gold from the, the name tag on the shoe. Uh, and, you know, nice gold, green, black. Uh, incorporates all the uh, main colors of the shoe. Yeah, I kept it simple. All mm -hmm. right. So, I went with this. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, uh, so that's, that's cheating. So, so what I did was I said, you know what? I said, listen, I want to, I want to, I want to hook something different to this. So, you have two elements in the shoe. It's, it's like, uh, it's military inspired, right? Because, uh, um, uh, Derek Curry was in the military. This is like a kind of like a military, an ode to the military. He spent time there. The shoe is derived from that. And I thought, well, what's more military than camel? So I went with a, a hat with a camel under. Mm. Now, it's got red, white, and blue, right? So you got red, white, and blue all through here. I just thought this was more of a – I don't know, man. I'm not going to wear, like, a, a camouflage cap with these sneakers. I think it's too much green. So yeah. I went with something that's got a subtle sort of army vibe to the bottom. And then it's got the red, white, and blue throughout the hat itself. I just thought it was a really good, good fit. But, again, I wanted to plug this hat because – Sneaker Politics did an excellent job with this hat, with the Gotta details. Do. You know, you got that. You got the little rip back there. I mean, yeah. listen, did a great job with this. Where's that Cubs hat from? Oh, uh, that was uh, Leaders. Leaders. Okay. Okay. Same. All same. Right. Thing, same thing I could say about uh, this this cap right here. It's beautifully executed. So thanks, man. I appreciate that, man. All right, one last shoe. This one was fun. <laughs> and the reason why is because this this colorway you can do many different things with, right? But uh, Nike Air Max One, the Travis Scott edition. Uh, Travis Scott has an ongoing deal with Nike brand, and you know everybody is kind of familiar with the Travis Scott ones. This yeah. is kind of like a shoe that people didn't really necessarily go towards when it dropped, mm. uh, but it's still a clean shoe overall obviously. and i'm also about to whoop everybody's ass uh -oh. okay i'm about to pull out the best hook possible for this shoe oh my god but we'll save that for last okay. I just it was wanna... a collab he did a one-off with travis scott <laughs> no. so. I was just about to say, you have a <laughs> no nah, man i'm just saying i once i saw when i saw the shoe you know what I... you know what? you should just go first yeah just go first no, 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 no. i think i don't want to i don't i don't want to intimidate people no, you've already I, you've already done that. I am a teacher. There's nothing that can intimidate. <laughs> nah. All right. So listen, I'm going with this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. There's a couple of reasons. Number one, you've got mm -hmm. the olive under visor. You got olive throughout this shoe. You've got that texture on those bands that go from the the top of the shoe mm -hmm. all the way through the back. I mean, this thing is probably the best possible hat you could hook to this uh, this shoe. And it's just like, I don't know, it's just a great fit. It's got that vibe to it. It just got the same vibe. Um, got it. I knew okay. it right when I saw it. I was like, All right, this is the hat for this. I didn't even have to go searching around. I'm like, I, don't know, I don't have to play around with this one. I'm not going to play with my food. I'm just going to do it. I did entertain <laughs> another hat. But, you know, I just, I'll show you. I entertained it, but like, nah, you know, nah. Okay. You want to? Fuck the Yankees. Oh, well. <laughs> That's a good idea. If you so notice, I did not. <laughs> have any red Sox in my rotation um <laughs> but there's this there's this word that we that we preach in high school it's called uh you know subjective everything is kind of to each their own so when i thought of this shoe first thing i thought about was 420 
right? And there have been a couple of 420 packs. And the reason mm -hmm. I think 420 is because, you know, Travis Scott normally had, is one of the headliners at the Rolling Loud, um, yeah. you know. And so probably one of the better hooks that came out of this year's 420 packs was actually from Pro Image, Pro Image America. Mm -hmm. And that is the uh, Raw-inspired okay. Royals, That's right? Good too. Um, I thought it was a beautiful crown. Um, it just happens to go with the actual tones of the sneaker. And then, bam, you got that dark brown. Um, matches my skin complexion. Beautiful hat. <laughs> feel, is feel that like dark brown or olive? This is uh, dark brown. Okay. okay. This is a dark brown. So I just feel like this was meant for me. And I feel like this was meant to, uh, you know, kind of one-up uh, Pierre in terms of what he <clears throat> You didn't, but nice try. If, you know what? We'll let the people decide. Yeah. Uh, All right. <laughs> I, I want to do that. All right. So this I'm one, kidding, man, that's a nice. I'm playing, man. That's a really nice hook, man. <laughs> this one made me a little bit nervous um, because this is a hat that uh, Pierre, myself, and Jason ended up getting. Um, I ended up grabbing it at the For You uh, shopping excursion. Um, I almost picked the Bagel and Locks uh, Mag Park hat, but I didn't. So I went with this one, Seattle. Mm. Um, it's got that uh, little bit of red in there. Um, to go with some of the the red accents, the the tan, um, and and the black almost could 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 pass as that dark brown in it, but um, I went with this Seattle hat. Hmm. All right, nice choice. All right. My last hat, it's got to be a Braves hat. So I went with an actual dark brown visor instead of black. I uh, pulled out these uh, Atlanta Braves 2000 All Star Game. Red bottom, pulling the red from the shoe, uh, from Sneaker Town. That's a good this one. does a good job of hitting all the main notes of that shoe. And I would uh, wouldn't uh, wouldn't be ashamed to wear it around. So yeah, good good hat, man. Listen, this wasn't this was a lot of fun. It was it fun. Was. We didn't see any of our um, picks mm -mm. beforehand. Nope. completely live. Um, and it's interesting to see people's uh, uh, different approaches to to matching. And hooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was uh, I was excited to to be able to pick some of the shoes. I also knew knew that you all had very extensive collections for, <laughs> you know, Pierre just kind of dropped it in there. Been doing this for over forty years, whatever, <laughs> you know. Um, but I got to say, uh, it something I always look for, especially when I see people like my students wearing a hat, is kind of like. What made you wear it? What's the story? How do you connect it, right? Because that's kind of what we preach in school. Explain mm -hmm. yourself, and I think everybody had like a pretty good explanation. That's good, man. Listen, yeah. I think this was I think this was great. I think it was a great concept, great idea. We'll do more of this, and we'll continue to polish it up to make it even better for our viewers. But we'd love to hear in the comments what you thought about the hooks. Is there any is there any hats you would have hooked differently? Is there any anything you would have done uh, differently than what you saw here today? Anything you liked, anything that stood out to you, just share it in the comments. Um, and with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video, uh, viewsmanvault.com uh, to get your official merchandise from us. Uh, for Jason, Leon, Pierre, and Jose, um, we're signing out, guys. Stay fit. See you, everybody. Peace. Peace. Enjoy 15% off all products with the code VFTV15. Brought to you by VFTV.